Okay, hello, welcome. So, this is another lesson ng grade 10 math, which is module 1, which is nasa first quarter. Uh, this is lesson 1 sequences under ng arithmetic sequence. And under ng arithmetic sequence, we have the what we call arithmetic means. Ano nga ba yung arithmetic means? It is the terms between any two non-consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence. Okay, para mas madali nating maintindihan, ito po yung example number 1. Find three terms between 2 and 34 of an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so hahanapin natin daw yung three terms sa pagitan ng 2 and 34. So kung maglalagay tayo ng three terms sa pagitan ng 2 at saka 34, magkakaroon tayo ng five terms. Okay, so this is the solution. Since we are required to answer three terms, then there will be five terms in all. Okay, in English lang. Okay, so in this example, we have two blank, 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 34. Ang first term natin ay 2. Ang pang fifth term natin ay 34 since mag insert tayo ng tatlo. Yung in-insert natin, yun yung a sub 2, a sub 3, or a sub 4. Or a sub 2 is the second term, a sub 3 is the third term, a sub 4 is the fourth term. Okay, para ma-solve ito, kailangan natin gamitan ng arithmetic rule. Okay, so note that we're going to find the common difference to find the three arithmetic means. Yan. So, identify muna natin or determine muna natin kung ano yung a sub n, a sub 1, n, at saka yung d. Ang a sub n natin is a sub, a sub 5. Bakit a sub 5? Kasi yung terms natin o yung, yung, yung arithmetic Sequence natin, hanggang 5 terms lang siya. Last term niya is um, 34, which is pang limang term. Okay, so therefore, a sub 5 equals 34. And then, a sub 1, yun yung first term, which is 2. N is 5. Bakit 5 uli? Kasi lima lang yung terms natin. And D is unknown. So, yun yung pinaka-importante na hahanapin natin para yung common difference na yun, yun yung iaad natin doon sa first term para makuha natin yung tatlong terms na nasa pagitan ng 2 at saka ng 34. Okay, ito na. Let's continue. Again, the rule is A sub N equals to A sub 1 plus the quantity of N minus 1 times D. Okay, substitute lang natin yung value. A sub n is A sub 5 equals A sub 1 is 2 plus uh, our n is 5 minus 1. Then D is unknown. Okay, so next step, we have A sub 5 equals 2 plus the quantity of 5 minus 1 times D. 5 minus 1 is 4. Okay, so, a sub 5 is 34. Again, we have 34 equals 2 plus 4 times d. Okay? Then, we have 34 equals 2 plus 4d. Okay, and then the next step, para masold natin yung d, okay, ita transpose natin yung 2 doon sa kabila. To transpose, kailangan natin palitan yung sign ng positive 2. Gagawin natin negative 2. So, 34 minus 2 equals 4D. Okay? Then, 34 minus 2 equals 32 equals 4D. Okay? To get the value of D, we're going to divide both sides by 4. So, we can cancel 4. Then, we have 32 divided by 4 is 8. Therefore, the common difference is 8. Yun yung ina-add natin every after term. Okay, so let's check. 2 plus 8 equals 10. Plus 8 equals 18. Plus 8 equals 26. Plus 8 equals 34. Okay, therefore, our arithmetic means are 10, 18, and 26. Okay, so let's have an example number 2. Insert 4 arithmetic means between 5 and 25. So, ito yung solution natin. Since we are required to insert 4 terms, then there will be 6 terms in all. Okay? Kasi between 5 and 25, kung mag insert tayo ng 4, or mag-i-insert yes, mag tayo ng 4, so magiging 6 na sila. 
So, meron tayong 5 blank, 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 25. So, that is A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, A sub 4, A sub 5, or A sub 6. First term, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth term. Okay, again, we're going to use the rule A sub N equals A sub 1 plus the quantity of N minus 1 times the common difference D. So, let's substitute or let's uh, then identify first what is A, A sub N, A sub 1, N, and D. A sub N is A sub 6 kasi meron tayong anim na terms, pang 6 terms, yung last term natin. And then, that is 25. Ang first term natin, or A sub 1, is 5. N is 6. Bakit 6? Kasi anim yung terms natin na binigay. And then, D is unknown. So, note, find the common difference, D, to find the 4 arithmetic means. Okay, yan ang kailangan natin para makuha yung A sub 2, A sub 3, A sub 4, and A sub 5. Okay, now let's substitute the value. Ang a sub n natin is a sub 6 equals, ang a sub 1 is 5. Ang n natin is 6. So, we have 6 minus 1. And then, we're going to find the d or the common difference. Our a sub 6 is 25. Then, it's equal to 5 plus 6 minus 1 is 5d. So, we have 25 equals 5 plus 5d. Okay, the next step para masolve natin yung d or yung common difference Yung 5, ita transpose natin dun sa kabila, so magiging 25 minus 5. Yung positive 5 na yun, mapapalitan ng sign which is negative. Okay, then we have 25 minus 5 is 20 equals 5D. To get the value of 5, we're going to divide both sides by 5. So, we can cancel 5 now. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. So, therefore, the common difference is 4. Yun yung ia-add ia natin every after term. Okay, let's check. 5 plus 4 equals 9. 9 plus 4 equals 13. 13 plus 4 equals 17. 17 plus 4 is equal to 21 and 21 plus 4 equals 25. Therefore, our arithmetic means um, 9, 13, 17, 21. Okay, which is 9 is the second term. 13 is the third term, 17 is the fourth term, 21 is the fifth term. Okay, now it's your turn. You have to try your best. Number one, you're going to answer this one. Insert three arithmetic means between 6 and 18. The number two, find two terms between 20 and 2 of an arithmetic sequence. Okay, good luck. Para sa may mga tanong po, para sa may mga clarifications, corrections, pwede niyo po akong i-message or mag-comment lang po dun sa, sa baba, dun sa comment section. Ayan. Okay, thank you for watching. And para po sa mga gusto pa po ng more lessons, more videos. Okay, so i-click nyo lang po yung like, subscribe, and then the bell button below para ma-update po kayo sa mga new uploads ko. And then sa mga videos ko pa po na uh, na-i-upload ko na before.